Hi guys, I'm Megan. I'm going to be leading your warm up today. To start off, I just wanted to do some breathing just to get us kind of in the mood and in the zone. So what I'm going to have you do is just put your arms to your side and we're going to take three big deep breaths. One, two, three. And breathe out. In again. And breathe back out. And one more time. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some marches. We're going to make sure to get those legs really involved, get those knees up there. Make sure we're moving our arms along with us as well. We're going to do this for about another 15 seconds. If you want to, you could definitely get some other arm movements involved, like doing some bicep curls or something like that. Alrighty, we're going to move into some side steps, so we're just going to go side to side here. Go at whatever pace makes you comfortable. And again, if you wanted to, you could add in some arm, arm movements, like we could be doing some stretches. And if you wanted to get more action in this, you could definitely take bigger, wider steps. Alright, we're going to do this for another 15 seconds. Sweet. Keep going. Awesome. Next, we're going to do some jumping jacks. If you don't want to do the whole jumping jack thing, you can definitely just move side to side and keep those arms moving for sure. And we're going to do this for about 30 seconds as well. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So next we're going to work on some squats. So we're going to make sure that we get down to that 90 degree angle. Also make sure that that knee is not going over those feet. We want to make sure our feet are shoulder width apart. If you wanted to, you could throw in some movements with your arms again, like so. We're going to do about five more of these. Great job. Keep going. Make sure we're getting down low enough. If going down too low hurts or something, you can definitely just modify that and go down a little less. Awesome. So next we're going to get into some calf raises. We're just going to go up high on our toes, make sure we're shoulder width apart with our feet. And if you wanted to, we could make this harder by going on a ledge or holding some weights if you have free weights. Great job. We're going to do another 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're going to take a little break from the legs and stuff, and we're going to move down to the mat on the floor here. And the first thing we're going to be doing is the cat dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our arms square with our shoulders and then our knees square with our hips. And we're going to stretch up. We want to make sure we're getting our shoulders involved and everything like that as well. And be sure we're breathing. And then we're going to go back down. We're going to go back up. Getting those shoulders really engaged. Making sure we're really stretching out here. Awesome. We're going to do about three more of these. And one. Okay, great. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to slide on down and we're going to do a plank. So I'm going to start laying down. And you can either do this up on your hands, on your elbows. You can also be on your knees or have your feet back. And we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. So we're going to start 
in three, two, and one. This one's tough, so if you need to, definitely go down on your knees or do whatever you need to. Be sure to keep that back straight. Awesome job, keep going. Just a few more seconds here on this one. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, we can let that one down. So we are gonna move back up into a sitting position here. We're gonna slide like this, feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do some glute bridges. So we're just gonna lay back down on our back like this. Keep those feet at a comfortable angle. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna really try to engage our core here. And we're gonna lift up. We're gonna go back down. If you wanna make this more difficult, you can definitely just stay up in this position for a while. But I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna do this about 10 more times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great, we're gonna take a little breather. And we're gonna get into some stretching while we're here on the ground. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a little butterfly. With this one, you can definitely choose your difficulty by moving your feet forward or backwards, whatever's comfortable for you. We wanna make sure this isn't painful. We just wanna feel that stretch a little bit. We're gonna hold this for about 15 seconds. Great job, make sure you're really feeling that stretch in those hips and everything. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, from this position, we're just gonna keep one of our feet in that position, pull it back if you can. And we're just gonna try to touch our toes. We're gonna make sure that our back is straight when we're doing this. We don't really wanna stretch that out too much in the wrong way. And just go till you're comfortable, but you feel a slight stretch. We don't want any pain involved in this. And we're gonna do this for about another 15. We're gonna hold this one for about the same amount of time, so keep it up. All right, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay back down on our backs, keep our bodies flat here. Then you're gonna take one of your knees and you're gonna twist that over and put it as far as you're comfortable going. We wanna feel this on our sides and then our hips a little bit. But we wanna be sure there's no discomfort. All right, another 10 seconds on this one. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna bring that leg back over and then we're gonna gently place it down. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. Awesome. If this is too tough for you, you can just keep it up and put your knee up towards your chest instead of doing the whole twist and everything. Sometimes that'll help with discomfort. Five, four, three, two, and one. And while we're laying down, I'm just gonna bring this leg up. I'm just gonna pull it to a point of comfort. I'm using my arms to help me out here. Definitely don't have to if you can't reach, don't do that. And five, four, three, two, and one. 
Then we're going to do the other leg. Again, only pull until you're comfortable. Make sure there's no pain involved. Awesome. We're going to count down from five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're going to stand back up. And we're going to keep going with some leg stretches and stuff. This is going to be a good one for balance. So we're going to take that leg and pull it back. Make sure you're not pushing too far. But make sure you're feeling that stretch in your hip. If you're having a hard time balancing, you can definitely just grab onto something or someone. Or if you need to, definitely just put your leg down. Get yourself together and try again. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and do this again on the other leg. Awesome, if you're having a hard time balancing, be sure to grab onto something. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, while we're on this balancing, we're gonna do some leg swings. So we're just gonna make sure we put our leg out like this, and we're gonna swing it out like that. Again, grab onto something if you're having a hard time. Only go till you're comfortable. If you need to do a slighter, lesser swing, go for that. Or if you need to tap down between each time, feel free to do that as well. And we're gonna do a few more of these. And we're gonna switch our leg in five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, switch legs. Make sure you're feeling it in your hips. And engage your core on this one too. Awesome, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. So now we're going to pull our arm over. Make sure we're not grabbing that joint. We wanna grab our forearm or up here. We're gonna pull that over till we're comfortable and hold this for about 15 seconds. Stretch out our shoulders. Making sure to keep that elbow straight and only push as far as you're comfortable. And we're gonna switch arms in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do the little arm, making sure we're not grabbing that elbow joint. Be aware of your breathing while you're doing this. Make sure you're taking some nice, big, deep breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna put our arm up over our shoulder. We're just gonna push that back with our other hand. Make sure you're not putting any strain on your neck during this one, it's really easy to. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Doing the same thing on this one. Make sure we're not pushing too far, not straining our neck. If that's happening, just push your arm back a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna shake it out a little bit. And then we're gonna get into some marching again and with a little bit of cardio. With this one, I'm gonna do some raises, get all my muscles involved here. If you wanna make this more difficult, you can go faster, you can bring your knees up higher. Now you're doing this. And we're gonna do this for about another 15, 20 seconds. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna do some side steps real quick. Just get our blood moving a little bit. With this, you can put your arms behind your back if you want to, and we can stretch out that shoulder. The shoulders and your chest. Definitely push that out. If this is a little too uncomfortable, you can bring it lower or higher, wherever your point of comfort is. We're gonna do this for about another 10 seconds. Really making sure to pull back those shoulders. And five, four, three, two, and one. Alrighty, to wrap this up, I wanna just do a few more breaths, make sure we're breathing correctly, focusing on that. So, all right, we're gonna inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale, and last time, inhale, and exhale. Thanks, guys. Mm. Let's hope it was doing it. <laughs> yeah.